getting around the city is a nightmare. We have some of the worst congestion in North America. It doesn't matter if you're on a major highway or a small urban street. It can be a disaster for people trying to get around. It's the westbound express by Fort Union is where we've had the left lane block. And Toronto also has a transit system, but it's one that's so stretched it might as well have a second slogan. We are sorry for the inconvenience. It is tough getting around Toronto. It's going to be tougher during the Pan Am Games. We wanted to find out whether Torontonians are overreacting or whether the system is going to be stretched. So we decided to put it to the test. 250,000 visitors and 10,000 athletes from around the world are already arriving. The HOV lanes are in place and they're being watched closely by over 240 traffic cameras to prevent scenes like this. It's the main hub that manages congestion on the city's highways 24 hours a day. Andrew Poslins with the Ministry of Transportation oversees this operation during the Pan Am Games. We're really taking a transit first approach in our planning to getting people to venues and we want to give them as easy and as a very accessible experience in order to get there but we also need to keep the region moving. It's been delays after delays it's really been been uh, challenging for, for me to get to and from work. It's affecting my work, it's affecting my picking up from the daycare, my kids. It's slow um, as long as you have a third person it's excellent. Uh, it's good because we are three of us so right now I'm using that so it's not bad. That's a good thing for one month that's not a big deal. So we're on the Gardner Expressway heading out of Toronto right now. The games haven't even begun, and yet already we're seeing a buildup in traffic. We're in the center lane. You can only go in that lane there, which seems quite empty, if you are working for the Pan Am Games or you have three or more people in your car. It took us about 20 minutes to get out of the city core in regular traffic, which is moving very slowly. If you happen to be in that HOV lane, you could probably cut your time in half. This is already creating headaches for a lot of people in the city, and they're wondering really what's going to happen next week when these games actually begin and a lot more people arrive in Toronto. Murtaza Haider is with Ryerson University School of Management. He says congestion won't be limited to highways. When you have congestion on freeways, um, then slowly that traffic starts to move to um, other places. So people are trying to use the local roads. The organizers are hoping that during the Pan Am Games, the regular travel demand will decline by 20%. And to, to, to me, it seems like wishful thinking. As organizers look to get 20% of drivers off the roads to make way for visitors and athletes, both Go Transit and the TTC have added more trips and stops on their schedule to accommodate congestion. Now, asking folks to stay off the roads is one thing, but if you live here and you still need to get to work, How's the TTC going to deal with that? And what if the system breaks? What then? So your role is you're in charge of the whole station. So if The TTC happens, has been looking at all scenarios, it says, and their staff have undergone training on how to respond to threats from terrorist attacks to fires and everything in between. We won't really have a sense as to how this will impact the TTC until the games begin, but Chris Upfold says they are ready to respond. Are there individual things that you're worried about? The subway shut down recently because of a communication issue. There was some sort of slime that was oozing into a station. That shut down the subway as well. It leaves hundreds of thousands of people without a, a way to get around. How worried are you about an incident like that, derailing all of the good planning that you've been talking about? So worried. And, and it wouldn't be right if I wasn't worried. And it, wasn't, it wouldn't be right if the TTZ wasn't doing the planning to do that. But it's, it's the flexibility. So the, the, big, the big worry is that we will in some way, shape or form lose part of the subway and that is actually going to be inevitable because something will happen. Something um, tragic may happen, there may be an accident. Um, it is going to be how we respond to that and how quickly we get it back up in service. We want Toronto to succeed. We want the city to be a good host. Um, but if we have multiple failures of the system, then the, the, that would have a cascading effect on the, on the flow and all, the, all these schedules. So the message from organizers is it's going to take you longer to get around, whether you are driving, whether you're taking transit. You're going to need your tickets for the games and a big bag of patience as well. In traffic, in Toronto, for CBC News, I'm Matt.